everyone it's Leanne and I just realized I've talked all this time and I've been on mute so I'm gonna <laughs> edit the video so you don't see me go on um, but here's uh, here's what I said here's to you get the shortened version now about 25 minutes ago now 27 minutes ago um, I got back from a yoga class and a restorative yoga class and it's been believe it or not about a year since my last yoga class I went my last yoga class, I was in my third trimester um, of pregnancy, and now my son is 11 months. And I've had this on my goals, on my list of things that I want to do, uh, going back to yoga again. And and I kept stopping myself. I kept seeing it every month on my goals, and it wasn't happening. And I said, "What's going on?" And at first, it was like, you know, because I just had my son, and I wasn't I wasn't ready. And actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't know where my brain went. I went to yoga when my son was an infant and I took him with me to Berkeley. But then, <laughs> since then, so it hasn't been a year, it's been more like, uh, let's see, since he was about uh, four or five months. So so it's been about a half a year since I've, I've really gone. Uh, but I used to go every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. So, so this is a shift in, in me, but anyway, so we went to yoga my wife talked me into it i don't know why i had so much resistance all that time going i kept it saying you know first it was like oh my, my son might need to nurse i can't be away that long and then it became you know once he could wait you know three four hours between nursing then it became well i have this time i need to work or i don't you know i need child care now i have child care <laughs> and then it became something like oh but uh i need i need to spend the time working and so I kept stopping myself and I kept getting more and more tense. You know, even though I would practice on my own and stretch a little bit, it wasn't the same as going to a class and just being able to completely let go, not worry about what I'm gonna do next, just let someone else tell me what to do and just do it. And so, um, and so I, I let my wife talk me into it because it's been a long time coming. And I came out of there feeling super open, able to breathe again. My wife said, she's like, finally I can breathe again. And, uh, and she's been really tense uh, and, and working hard lately. And so I just wanted to make a point that, you know, I recorded a video for you over the weekend and I said, you know, you need to take time off over the weekend and do something fun for yourself and focus on your family and, and, your, and yourself. And the same is true for every single day. You can't, you can't binge on, on happiness and, and enjoy your life on the weekend and then binge on work during the week. You really need to have more of a balance day to day. I'm actually part of a coaching community called Ultimate Game of Life. And in that community, they focus on every aspect of your life, which they say there are nine different environments. Well, combining those environments, there are three goals that you come up with for, for the year, for the quarter, for the month, and for every single day. And those are goals in your happiness, your health, and your wealth. And if you think about it, in order to enjoy life, you've gotta be happy. And what does it take to be happy? It's not money, right? <laughs> money doesn't make you happy. What makes you happy are doing things that are close to your values, are making a difference in the world, are taking care of yourself, seeing your family, having all your needs met and everything like that. And, and your health is, is essential, right? Because how can you enjoy life if you're laid out in the hospital or if you've got a headache that day, right? You've got to take care of your health and the wealth as well so many people just they get online and they just focus on wealth 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 and so their original goals because why does anyone want to get rich to have money in the bank no that's ridiculous you want to have money so that you can enjoy your life so you can be happy so you can be healthy and so people will go into it thinking that thinking they want to spend more time with their family they want to be happier and they'll end up focusing all their time on wealth and forgetting all the other stuff so it's like a binge on wealth which is not your end goal anyway and so in this community i've learned to set all three goals and to focus on my health and my wealth and to do one action every day towards those goals and so i want to offer you the same idea is if you've been sitting at the computer trying to figure stuff out for 16 hours a day spinning your wheels if you step away even just once a day make time to exercise or to do yoga or to meditate or to do whatever it is makes your body feels feels makes your body feel good go out in nature whatever it is that makes you feel human again and makes you feel connected and clears your mind your subconscious mind will keep on working and will figure out what you need but if you just stay at your computer every day look staring at the computer 
you're gonna end up spinning your wheels and getting less done and getting distracted. When you step away and you come back, you're gonna get more done. And so I wanna offer that to you to take care of yourself, to take time to cook, to take time to make green juices, to take time to exercise, to go out in nature, to spend time with your family, to be happy. And then allow your work time to be focused and not to, not to consume you, but allow happiness and health to consume you instead. So I hope that's helpful to you. And, uh, and here's a little exercise for you. Sit down and without, without any, without stopping yourself, I guess, you know, just allow things to come out fl fluidly. Say something along the lines of this year, what I would really like to be happy is, and just say what comes out. This year, what I'd really like in order to be healthy is fill in the blanks. This year, what I'd really like in terms of money and wealth is, and just whatever comes out, just write it down. And don't worry about how. If, if you hear yourself saying, yeah, but, but, pause right there and just write down your original thought. And then allow that to work for you and see how could you break that down into quarters? What would you need to get done this quarter to make that happen? What would you need to get done this month to make that quarterly goal happen? And what would you need to do on a daily basis, every single day, just one action every single day that would get you there? Try that. Write down in the comments how it felt to do that. And write down in the comments if tomorrow you're gonna take time for yourself to do something for your health or your happiness. All right, love you all. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.